drink from upstream. So this morning, I've still got last night's events in my head. And last night was the final get together of um, the three month discipleship initiative that I lead called City Point Men. So we had another group of men from uh, City Point Church go through this discipleship initiative and, um, and we finalized it last night and it was really a special night. And our, our last assignment was to read the book of Titus and then of course we take time to talk through it. And interestingly enough, we spent probably half of our time on the opening verse because of kind of the, the where we were at in, in our conversations. So it opens up, the Apostle Paul is writing to a young pastor named Titus, and he's giving him instructions on, um, on following Jesus and leading the church to do the same. And But this is how he opens it up. He says, Paul, a servant of God, and an apostle of Jesus Christ for the sake of God's elect. And this phrase, for the sake of, became kind of the centerpiece for our conversation last night, for the sake of. And one of the things that we find true in life is that whatever it is that God has given us by way of talents or strengths or any sort of calling, is it's always for the sake of somebody in addition to ourselves, that we aren't the only person that God had in mind when he gave us the gifts and talents that he gave us for the sake of. And so it was an interesting conversation because it was kind of spontaneous, but I just, I went around the room and asked each man, what are you good at? And, you know, nobody wants to, nobody usually just comes right out and starts to spout off the things that they're good at. But in reality, um, with humility, we, we are good. We are good at some things. And um, and we want to recognize that those things are, have been given to us by God. And some of those things that we've been naturally gifted with, then we develop further, like leadership or something like that. Um, but it was just a great conversation to hear the guys say things like, well, I'm an encourager. I'm a, a leader. Others to say, I'm, I'm one who has discernment. And, um, and just it was just really a, a special time. And so uh, as each guy said their part, uh, then we would remind one another, uh, that's something that God has given to you. And he's given it to you for the sake of others. So be sure to use how, what God has given you for the sake of others. So I would ask you this, this day as you watch this, as you watch this video, what has God given you? What has God gifted you with? What, uh, what aspirations has he put in your soul? Um, what are you good at? And do you recognize that, um, that you've been given that by God for the sake of others? And, uh, and be sure, and in fact, this day, as you think about that, um, maybe tell yourself, and maybe, you, maybe there's somebody else that you could tell as well, but say, hey, I'm good at fill in the blank. I'm good at this. And then remind yourself that it's for the sake of others. And then maybe lastly, figure out a way in the next day or so where you could use what God has given you purposely for the sake of others. Go out of your way to do that. And uh, this, is, uh, this is Holy Week, the Passion Week, and so I, I hope and pray that you're focused upon the Lord Jesus Christ and what he has done in his suffering and in his death and resurrection for your sake. Jesus did what he did for the sake of others, including you, including me. So may you recognize that truly this day, and may you walk with Jesus with all of your heart, friends, with all of your heart. God bless you.